Welcome to part two of the Disney Alvani vlog series. In today's series, we're going to be covering what we did when we were on the north shore of the island, everything I ate, and all of the adventures we had. I couldn't combine parts one and two because it was too long for YouTube to handle, so today you are getting the second part of this series. If you haven't seen the first part yet, it is already uploaded. I will make sure there's a link for it here for you as well. Enjoy and aloha. I would like to watch your first bite. I actually want to. No. Hey, I want to watch your first bite. How many Peters do you give it? <laughs> One Peter. No, five Peters. Five out of five. five. Golden Adventure, Ordinary Adventure Star. Kelly, <laughs> rate your sandwich avocado BLT from Konos. How many? How many stars out of five? Five Peters. Five Peters. This gets an ordinary berry tail coaching scar. Get it? Get it? A scar. <laughs> Every other day, like after we have an adventure, is a day here at Aulani. So here on this particular day, we had, it was honestly a little bit busy, but like in a fun way. Welcome to day, full day three, here at Disney's Aulani. And today, we are in the found matching Hawaiian mini prints because we have breakfast at, do you know the name of the restaurant? Nope. Makahiki with Mickey and potentially Minnie, who we got to see last night together, that's rare, and Goofy. And we're gonna bring Callie's little autograph board and I'll show you that a little bit later. But Callie and I have our matching dresses and our matching ears on from three years ago. Callie's are a pink and purple sparkle and mine are like a rose gold pink. I have my bobble bar Hawaiian mini earrings on. Callie has her Minnie Mouse glasses. She's got her camera. Then let's let's do a little a little dress viewing, shall we? Callie's in her little reefs. Sorry if the lighting is weird. The sun is super bright because it is so early in the morning. It's not even eight o'clock. But these are what our dresses look like. We're not trying this on. I'm pretty pleased how it fits. Yeah, me too. We just tighten the straps. It's a little bit loose on the side. I probably could have gone with a medium, but mine's a I little like it. Too, but I don't... Well, you might grow into this, so like the yeah. next time we wear it, you'll be eleven. Oh. <laughs> I am trying to get better at French braiding Callie's hair. It is clean and wet this morning, so that way tonight when we have dinner at Ama Ama, I'll take it out and it will be wavy and curly. We're off to go have the only red velvet Mickey waffles globally in the world that you can get at this breakfast. I don't even love red velvet that much, but I know, <laughs> but I'm going to have them because this is the only place that you can get them. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to also show you I have some bobble bar jewelry. This is my first bobble bar bracelet. Callie's got her magic band, and I have my little glittery Mickey Mouse ring. So yeah, we are ready. Ready for Breck. You excited? Yeah, and it lights up too. It does light up. Callie's been doing a lot of magical things around the resort with her magic band. Let's go have breakfast, shall we, my love? Yeah. We started the day at Makahiki's, which is the only character breakfast here on property. So I know that there's uh, an assumption that when you hear like, oh, this is a Disney resort, that there are attractions or characters everywhere. And yes, there are character experiences, but you honestly have to seek them out for the most part. So we started with breakfast with Stitch, and Mickey, which is, he's so cute. They're all so cute in their like Hawaiian vacation outfits. Um, we met Pluto and Max was there too. That was like a big highlight. They spend some time coming around to your tables. This is the only place where you can get mini red velvet waffles, which are on the kids menu. You get to take pictures with Mickey. There's live ukulele music. It's just, it's lovely. Is it worth the cost for someone with a bariatric tummy? No, 
but I did bring my leftovers back. So I had what I think it's called the traditional omelet. It was delicious. And I think I liked this choice better. We've done this breakfast once before. It was last time actually. And because it was COVID-y, we had to stand a certain amount of feet away from Mickey. Like we couldn't get in there and snuggle with him. Um, but yeah, this, I, I would recommend if you have kids who love the characters, it's definitely like a Hawaiian character experience. They will sign um, your autograph pieces. We have just finished breakfast. Sorry, it's very windy at Makahiki. Who is your favorite character? Max, Max. I could have told you that one is Max. We did end up buying the pictures. We don't normally do that, but the second picture of Callie that they showed us was so precious that we needed to own it. We've switched ears. I'm in my Duffy and Friends. Callie is in her only Mel ears from our Make Your Own Ears class, and she brought a friend with her because we are in line right now to meet the one and only Olu Mel. And look how long the line is. It's us and a family in front of us and a person behind us right now, but I'm not gonna show you them because I don't know if they wanna be on camera. But we're here, we're 20 minutes early. I think that's the secret, checking the Alani app. But we're excited. We're, and also, Olu is meeting right now, at least at the point when this video is coming out, in front of the koi pond, which is right here. So like that's Makahiki and the Aleolo room. This is, this is the koi pond. Because we thought that Olu would be meeting where the other characters have been meeting on the Haleiwa lawn. And we got there and we were like, this doesn't feel right. So we looked where the information was and found out that he's here. So we're waiting for him. We're very excited. I don't usually get so excited to meet characters and I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> Mickey! Yeah, she made those for you. Yeah, cute! Callie and I also made our own mini ears, Mickey ears, um, here at Aulani. So at the community room, I did a video all about this so many years ago about all the offerings. Callie decided to make her ears after Olu, which is the Disney turtle. She made these Olu themed ears, and I know it's hard to see in the light, but they do light up. So we put, she decided on a green bow a little olu ukulele, and then some different plumeria and hibiscus flowers. So cute. This whole process took about 30 minutes. It cost $34, which is less than the cost of a pair of regular Mickey ears. And these, these ones are made by hand with love from us, the artists, the ear artists. <laughs> Essentially, you choose if they're going to be LED or non-LED. Callie chose light up ears, and then you get to pick five decorations. They give you all the leaves and some hot glue guns, and then you get to work and you spend the next 30 minutes to 60 minutes like putting your ears together. It was $34, and because ears are running so expensive now, like 40 plus dollars, especially here at the Elani Hotel, I feel like this was a deal like this was a disney bargain um callie has worn hers to meet olu which was really fun down by the koi pond and in my real time tomorrow she has an activity at auntie's beach house which is the child care like activity play place for kids she has an activity called becoming a sea creature, I think, and Olu goes there and they learn all about a particular creature. She's really excited about it. Um, I think they kind of like build them somehow. My guess is it's digitally and then they see how they would function in the ocean. That's what she explained to me. So she's gonna wear those ears yet another time, but they're definitely like a special thing because you can only do that here. Mark and Callie also went snorkeling on this particular day. Um, right off the marina that's like at the end of the loop of the little like walking path loop. We did a sunset cruise there on a catamaran the last time we were here. And while they were snorkeling, I had myself a massage at the Lani Vai Spa, which is absolutely beautiful. It is still the best spa that I've ever been to. Um, I'm always torn when I'm getting a massage there because 
they're long like it was 80 minutes i got to go a half hour early so i could go in the eucalyptus spa room the little steamer room um afterwards i always stay to like have their good water and eat their snacks and relax and it it just takes up so much of the day but i also know that that's like really good self-care for me and i wasn't rushing back to, like I was missing anything because Mark and Callie weren't here. So I think that's the perfect combination is like finding them an activity to do so that I can treat myself and not feel like I need to rush back into my family activities. If you're interested in our mountain tubing experience on Kauai, again, I'm gonna direct you to make sure that you're subscribed because that video is coming and it's going to be entirely separate where I'm documenting what we did how I felt about it and how it relates to weight loss surgery as like a non-scale victory. And that is going to bring us up to date with today. We are getting ready to go to Ama Ama for dinner tonight, which is the kind of like fancier restaurant on property, which was closed three years ago. So it's been a long time since Mark and I have gotten to eat here. I remember that the bread that they give you, they give you butter separately. And then it came with this black lava salt, which you'll have seen Mark has already purchased. That was like a revolutionary experience for me. So I'm hoping that that's the same. But but today was a very chill pool day. We got up again relatively early. Today, Callie finally slept past 6.30 because we were so tired from yesterday's adventures. So Cal and I got up, Mark was on a run. We got ready for the pool. We went downstairs before eight o'clock. We plopped our things onto a chair because we were actively there. We waited in line for bracelets and then kind of like set off to the day. So we did the lazy river. Callie did all of the slides multiple times. When Callie was at Auntie's Beach House this morning, we got to go into the adults only hot tub, which has an infinity edge that overlooks the beach, which is gorgeous. Um, I read my book in the sun. Mark grabbed us lunch from across the street. I had sushi roll, which was good. Not great, but good. And far less expensive than what we would be eating here on property. Um, I think I'd go for the spicy one next time. He got a poke bowl and said that that was fantastic. Um, we used our, wall, our Walmart Plus account to grab groceries before we arrived. Like they arrived with us the following morning. So we had um, Uncrustables for Cali and some apples and chips, you know, just like a casual little picnic lunch that we didn't have to purchase for her, which was great. And then she got to go down to the lagoon with my parents while Mark and I went to a DVC mimosa and macaron making class. Hi, if we're being honest, I entirely forget what day of the video we're on like i've been saying hi welcome to day five i think today is day five but i'm not sure because yesterday when i vlogged i vlogged for a separate video so hi and welcome we have spent the morning because it is now 1 32 p.m eastern no hawaiian standard time pacific standard time i don't even know what time zone i'm in that's how much we're enjoying vacation. So today is an Aulani day, which means we are spending the day here at the resort. We have spent the morning at the pool um, in the Lazy River. Callie got to go to Auntie's Beach House this morning for free play time, which she's been begging to do. So she loves that just as much as she loved the kids club on the cruise that we were on. And that's a pretty big deal for her. She's not the kind of kid who loves that type of activity. So she has another activity tomorrow, which was a premium event, meaning you have to pay for it. And it's like becoming your favorite sea creature, but Olu goes. And we already met Olu and she knows he's rare. So this is like exciting. She's excited for that. This afternoon, oh dear, I'm looking at the sunburn of my belly right now. Does this look like I have abs? <laughs> it's from sitting and reading my book in my lounge chair, despite all of the sunscreen. I have an event at two o'clock today here um, at the resort. It is a mimosa and macaron, macaroon. I don't actually know if it's macarons or macaroons. Like I know the difference between the type of sweet treat. I don't know what type of event this is. Mark and I are going. Callie is staying with my parents and they're gonna go down to the beach, the lagoon. 
because I thought this was at 2.30, I thought I was gonna have an hour to like shower, wash my hair, get ready. We have dinner at Ama Ama tonight, so I know I'm gonna want my hair to be like cute and clean for the sunset photos, right? Um, as you can see, my hair is oily because I added oil to it. It is also filled with chlorine, so many products, and the fresh water from yesterday's mountain tubing adventure. But I didn't want to wash it last night, one, because I was so tired when we came home from Kauai, but two, because I knew that we would be getting up and going to the pool this morning. So one of my challenges right now in the next 20 minutes is to figure out like, how am I going to salvage this hair? The other thing we're gonna do is get ready. We're gonna get ready to go to that exciting adventure cooking class. I think we get to make our own macarons, macaroons. I don't like what, I do not know what we're gonna do with this. But okay, okay, we're, we're gonna figure it out, okay? Let's, let's actually start with the hair. I'm gonna add some water. I don't know if you care about this type of content, but if you have naturally curly hair, one of the only perks of it is like, you can usually zhuzh it up pretty easily. It's so wind blown from our adventure yesterday. And I will have a video about our mountain tubing coming out as like one of my 40 before 40 videos because we did so many new amazing things on a completely different island. We've never been to Kauai before. We spent the day in Lahue. Lahue. I never know if I'm pronouncing Hawaiian words correctly. We're gonna add in a little mousse to this. And I'm not gonna try too hard. Honestly, because I know I'm gonna be back here in two hours taking a shower to get ready for Ama Ama, which I'm really excited for. The food in on this island is unreal. It's so good. Even my mom, who is maybe the world's pickiest adult eater, when we ate at Mina's Fish House, she said, oh, this is gonna be challenging knowing that there aren't like cheeseburgers or chicken tenders on the menu, even for kids. Um, and she ordered some type of chicken and said at the end that that was the best meal she's had in her whole life. Now I will say the food at Mina's was delicious. Mark and I split an eight ounce filet mignon. I probably ate three ounces because I did have two oysters to start and I got them broiled with miso and they were good, but were they Cape Cod oysters? They were not. So the oysters on the Cape, I think are better than the oysters out here or even how they prepare them. But Mina's is supposed to be like one of the best restaurants on the island. If you have Oahu recommendations for where to eat, please put it in the comments below because we'll be back in three years. <laughs> okay. I'm now gonna attempt to get ready, but I just wanted to check in and let you know what we've been up to. I'm hoping to have some footage from this course that I can show you um, because the courses so far, when I say courses, I mean the activities that we've done so far, um, the ear making and even Auntie's Beach House activities have been stellar. So I just wanted to update you and I'll show you what we're doing at the Mimosa and Macaron class. I'm excited to like hang out with Mark um, because I feel like We've spent so much time and energy, obviously, like focused on Callie and if she's having fun and my parents, but it'll be nice. This will be like a little day date for us. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the footage that is to come. So we couldn't decide before the class if it was macaroons or macarons that we were making, but it was macarons. Not only did we get to sample a whole bunch of different tiny little cutesy macarons and drink two mimosas. One was a pog mimosa and one was pineapple juice, but we got to actually make our own. So also with this, which is just egg whites and powdered sugar, you can actually make meringues in the oven and like fold some chocolate chips in it. Perfect, we have Disney magic in the back. <laughs> I got extra pixie dust in the back. I came all the way from Walt Disney World, so we're good to go. Oh. 
bottoms together. Okay. Oh, I didn't know there was a difference. No, there, we are... There's no difference. Don't yell at me <laughs> while I'm piping. So this was, I think, $64 a person, this experience. But we got to actually watch Chef Amanda, who's the pastry chef. She invented the gray stuff, not like from the song, but the actual recipe for the gray stuff at Hollywood Studios, and we got to fill our macarons with it today. But not only did we get to sample, I think three, really four, because there was one I didn't eat, macarons. We made our own, so we got to bring back six. We had two cocktails, and they made us a special DVC macaron that tastes like a Dole Whip, allegedly. Um, but these were so pretty and really fun. I think we're doing, oh dear, this is mine. I've already squished my Mickey. I told Mark that I feel like we've done a way better job like taking advantage of the DVC perks this trip. He's gone down to the DVC lounge a bunch of times to get like every day there's like a free thing. Um, there's like special meet and greets just for DVC. On one of the original nights that we were here, like the first few nights, we actually got to go to a DVC like member exclusive where we met Mickey and Minnie um, in their tropical Hawaiian gear together, which was really special because you don't really see them like as Mickey and Minnie together, you always see them separately. So we went to that, we got um, Kakua nut like lays, which are what traditionally men wear in Hawaii. But yeah, we're doing a better job taking advantage of DVC. So these are my macarons. These have such a pretty purple, I don't know if you can tell, outside and then the inside is the gray stuff mousse. And this was my pretty Mickey Mouse. It was pretty. Oh dear, she's falling apart. But she has a chocolate inside, or he does, and then these gold flakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a fantastic event. There's one tomorrow. Well, not your tomorrow, but my tomorrow. While I'm filming this, that's I think sake and sushi, but we'll be at Kalua Ranch having another adventure. So we're gonna go to dinner. We're gonna watch the sunset. We have a beautiful table. We're gonna stick around for the sunset. Yeah, stay tuned for more. Outfit of the day. <laughs> so Callie is going this morning to Auntie's Beach House for an Olu based activity and sea creatures. She has her new little Olu in his Hawaiian outfit. Mickey. Keychain. Her Olu ears that she wore while she met him. And after, we're going to Kaloa Ranch. Sorry for the foggy camera lens. So this is Callie's like tropical 90s Target outfit. It's glowing. It's very hard to see them glowing in the sunshine, but they do, they do light up. Oh yeah, that's good. Are you excited? That is a happy sea this creature is my dance. Happy dance. <laughs> I hope it's always your happy dance. Let's catch up. So, the night that I was talking to you, I was in my white dress and we were headed to Ama Ama, which is Aulani's signature restaurant. It is located in a true Lanai fashion. So you are indoors, but you can see directly outside. We got a table specifically to be able to watch the sunset, which I thought was gorgeous. Watching like pink creamsicle colors fade through palm trees over the water. Chef's kiss in my personal opinion. And we're on the West Coast, as you know. So the 
sunsets here are gonna be a bit more glorious than they are at home on the East Coast where we get really beautiful sunrises. So the story of Ama Ama is that it's a family that keeps growing so they add rooms on. So each of Ama Ama's like seated locations have kind of a different theme. We were in more of like a formal fishing dining room and you can see the names of the family members like etched into the wooden pillars. We had two incredible servers. The bread service, like this is the type of restaurant where you have two servers, where you have a sommelier, where you have bread service. So the bread service was a bit different than I remembered from last time. However, it did not disappoint. I went with a piece of, I think it was honey wheat bread and it was so soft. There were three bread options, honey wheat, sourdough, and crackers. And Callie got all three twice. And then they bring you out an individual bowl of like homemade butter with Hawaiian sea salt on top to go on top of the bread. Delightful. Ama Ama is a four course menu. It's a prefix menu. However, you have choices within those categories. So there was like an amuse bouche, which was sashimi based and it was delightful. And then I had the squash soup that came over a Hawaiian shrimp. You get your entree. I got the most delicious lobster tail. It's already out of the tail. It's made with like a beurre blanc cream sauce with local vegetables. It was big, like four, I know plated in bougie restaurants, they don't want the food to look big. It was big for my tummy. So I was able to eat three quarters of it and then give it to the rest to my dad. Um, but we were all getting really full at that point and I was trying to be so mindful of the bites that I was taking. And then lastly, I believe I got a dessert and I don't think I ate it. Callie and I went to the beach to take some photos, which you'll see on Instagram. Um, and then by the time dessert came out, I had had a beautiful glass of wine. Like I was, I was done, I was done. There was enough space in between each course for me to like enjoy what I was eating. Um, and my, both of my parents said this was the most beautiful restaurant they'd ever been to. So I'd recommend Ama Ama. It's very expensive. So know that going in, this isn't something I would do if I was like three months post-op. I would make sure that I was able to eat a multi-course meal over the course of like two and a half hours or so. So good. It reminded me very much of Remy when Mark and I were on our Disney cruise. And the next day, we went to one of our favorites here on the island. We went to Kualoa Ranch, which is on the north side of the island. And the mountains and foliage there are absolutely stunning. So we've done this twice before. This was on my dad's like must do Hawaii bucket list. Okay, we were not originally set on going back to Kualoa Ranch. We've done the bus tour, we've done the UTV tour. And as I mentioned, I think before, we might do the horses the next time we're here. Though, watching the horses from our UTVs, it is a slow paced ride. I'm not sure that that's a must do for us next time. Here's what made this so special. When we arrived, we were told that we were ride on passengers. And I thought that we were going to be driving our own UTVs. Now, it doesn't matter to me anyway. I'm a passenger princess. I was not gonna drive, but my dad really wanted to drive and, and Mark likes to. So when they told us that we were riding with the guides, we were like, okay, fine, whatever. Honestly, it doesn't matter to me. So Mark and I got to ride with our guide named Tyler and we were the first car. We were A0, like that was the name of our, I almost said boat our UTV. My parents and Callie, she wanted to go with them, were A4. So they were four cars back from us. And Callie got to ride in the front seat because these are like two seat UTVs, they're not ATVs. Um, and my parents rode behind. Now, what made this so special was one, we got to go way faster than we would because there weren't any like safety locks on the guides vehicles. Two, Tyler made this into like a personalized tour of the ranch. Not only did we see all the movie sets that are so cool that we've seen before and we got to make three stops like the whole group did, but he pointed out the history of the mountains and who owns what side and the ownership piece of this and the fruit and the birds and we got to see baby pigs. Like he made this feel like we were celebrities, like we were on this UTV tour of a lifetime and it was two hours long. We did get to go through some water 
at the end of the tour and my parents said the same thing that I think her name was Olivia she was awesome she's the one who took the dinosaur photos if you've seen those ones on Instagram if you haven't they're coming um, but she gave uh, the history of this beautiful property so if you're going and you don't care about driving a UTV, be a ride along passenger because you're gonna get this experience that you wouldn't get if you were driving on your own. And I would definitely recommend the property. The food there is outstanding because it's all grown on that ranch. So like the chocolate, the cattle, like all of the food is amazing even though it just looks cafeteria style and they have a really fun gift shop where I bought some things for my brother-in-law. I'm gonna show you a haul but that's not happening right this second. We raced back from Kualoa Ranch because the one and only Duffy the Disney Bear was meeting here at Aulani. We've been so lucky where we got to meet Olu, we got to meet Duffy, and we got to meet Shelly May. We're back from Kualoa Ranch and we raced back so that we could get in line to see our number one bestie, Duffy. So I've got my hat Duffy ears on. Kelly's got her own ears. And we we're second in there. line. Right? I thought we were going to have to wait for like an hour, honestly, because Duffy meets at 4.15 and it's 4.06 and we're the second people in line. We're just like nailing it with the timing for these characters. So I'm excited. We brought Kelly's little signing board in case he signs. Olu didn't, but <laughs> love you. <laughs> the character meet and greets have just been spectacular. I always watch videos of like my favorite Disney vloggers who love the characters and they go up and they get excited and they talk to them and I think like, okay, like do I squeal when I see Minnie Mouse? Yes, every time. Do I need to wait in an hour long line to meet Duffy? No, and then we're here and we have the opportunity to meet these rare characters that we don't get back on the East Coast or really even in Disneyland and I am delighted just filled with childlike joy to meet them. Like, I showed Duffy my ears, obviously, but then I have like my little key like keychains on my bag. I showed them to Shelly Mae, she liked my seashell earrings that I was wearing. Like, we had moments with these characters that will last a lifetime. And Callie was so excited. We skipped Diamond Head. We were supposed to hike Diamond Head yesterday morning, which was a pool day. Hey there, road race oh boy. Here. here I am. Oh, here filming. You have shorts over here too, love. These ones. Are you packing? Yeah. I like your shorties, pineapples. We were supposed to hike Diamond Head. Remember, it's the reason I packed my shoes. Remember, my sneakers. And then what we've learned is that if we make Diamond Head, if we schedule it for later in the trip, we're not gonna go. This is the second time. We're not gonna go. We didn't go, spoiler. We are going. <laughs> In 2027, when we come back, Mark has already started a group chat, Alani 2027. Um, we need to make it earlier in the trip so that we're not acclimated to the time zone yet, so we're naturally getting up early. And we had the most fantastic experience at the Kava'a, Kava'a Luau here. I'm trying to think of how it looks and spelled in my mind. It's the Alani Luau. Now, you might think that that's gonna be filled with like Disney characters and Moana songs, and yes, Mickey and Minnie do come out at one brief point, but it's really a brother and a sister, according to the lore, telling the story of the Hawaiian people with dancing and fire and food and song. It was really, really fun. We did premiere seating. Now, there's two reasons why you might want to do premiere seating, or three, I guess. One is that because you get there early, you have access to all of the like activities. So there's a bracelet lay making, there was tarot pounding, um, temporary tattoos, which Callie and my mom both got, uh, ukulele lessons, which we all tried. So there's a bunch of different activities. So that could be one reason, so you feel like you're maximizing your time. Two, you have closer seating to the stage area, which looks like Moana's boat. Um, three, with premier seating, 
you get free digital downloads from all of the photos through the Disneyland app. I haven't looked at the photos yet, but I will put some up on the screen here for you. And it is open bar all night. So the earlier you get there, the more you can drink if you're interested in that. They do have like the Kaba'a sunset drink, which I drank, it has rum in it. Um, it tasted like sunscreen in the best way. I drank one of those and then I switched over to gin and tonic um, because they didn't have wine beyond Chardonnay. So the entire experience, we checked in at five and we were back in our room around nine. So it's like a four hour experience, but the food was delicious. It is a little bit salty, spe specifically the Kahlua pork. I thought that was a bit salty but I was able to fill my protein quota, right? I had Kahlua pork, I had um, teriyaki chicken, which was so good. I had a little bit of a Hawaiian salad. I had poi on my plate. Um, I had a little bit of rice and some sweet potato, but it's purple sweet potato because it's Hawaiian sweet potato. I, by the time desserts were ready, I, I couldn't. I didn't indulge in that. Maybe I could have later in the night, but. I didn't need to um, and we learned they like encourage you to stand up and they teach you some luau moves like it's just such a beautiful story I love the story of the Hawaiian people I love all of the different areas that they bring for the dancing it's like a mini Broadway show but here out at Aulani I'm packing and I'm up about to go get Callie from auntie's beach house for her last time but while I'm packing Obviously my biggest struggle is like everything I've purchased. So I showed you everything from the Dole Plantation, but I have some more goodies that I wanted to share with you. In reality, I should have done like an entirely separate haul, but isn't this fun? So I've mentioned this rum factory that we went to, Kohana, Hawaiian Agricole Rum. So while we were there, I convinced Mark to get the shirt. There was a Aloha shirt from his favorite shirt company with this particular rum factory. But I also bought him this little Kohana cooler because it has like tropical drinks all over it with the sugar cane in the background. So I thought this would be great for him for at work for lunch, but also like for beach boat days all of the coolers that we own are mine. Like all of the beach coolers, the lunch coolers, they are all mine. So I'm really picky about which ones he's allowed to use. This one can be his. So this will probably be a Christmas present. And then I also bought him the Mai Tai rum that he tried. And I bought one of these for Auntie Ashley as well. And I got I got a little sticker. Now, I don't know if it's appropriate to give this to Callie. It's a it's a rum bottle sticker, but it's so cute. And we've been collecting little stickers like this for our water bottles for back to school. So that's been fun. And as I mentioned, Mark did bring a bottle of rum home. How he'll be getting that home, I do not know. When we went to Hawaii, which is in a separate video. I know I've said that a thousand times. We had lunch at Duke's because this was a Mark plan. Jimmy Buffett used to have breakfast, lunch at Duke's, go to Duke's on Sundays. So that's actually a Jimmy Buffett song. So I bought Mark this little Duke's shirt because this feels like running material that he can use when he's out on a run. He always likes good run shirts. And then Callie wanted this water bottle sticker. So I can actually, I'm combining as we go. This one, trash. And then at Kuloa Ranch, um, which I talked about earlier too, I picked up some super fun things as gifts. So I'm gonna save the most one, one for last. Uh, my sister's husband's birthday is actually while we're away, but he loves Jurassic Park. And Colby doesn't love a lot of things. He loves golfing, he loves family, he loves ribs, he loves Jurassic Park. Uh, the last time we were here, I brought him back the like mosquito that was in the sap from the tree. So I brought, bought him a water bottle because I think he'll get a lot of use out of it. Oh, it's fun on the top, okay. 
and he has quite a commute to work. So I think this will be good for him. Callie wanted this sticker. So sticker collection growing. I also grabbed this pin for myself. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. I envision it on like a bulletin board. I love the Hawaiian license plates. In fact, when we were here last time, I went to the spa to have my nails rainbowed like the license plates. So I thought that was really cute. We got to pick out a collectible pin, I think because we spent a certain amount of money. So Callie picked out the Maui hook. That one will be hers. I also got this sticker for me. It says, I got lost. If you know, you know. So much of Lost was filmed in Kualoa Ranch, particularly Hurley's golf course. So I loved the van sticker. And then the most fun thing is this Aloha shirt for Colby. Because, can you see this? It has T-Rexes on it. What? They're doing all kinds of Hawaiian activities. This one with the bucket hat. Um, we really want Colby, my sister, and her girls to come with us in 2027. So I'm just going to slowly but generously pressure Colby into coming. And then, then when Mark and I were out at our like fun date dinner, this seems so silly, but at the ABC store, they had these like air dry clays from a, co a Hawaiian company. And this one's a little sea turtle. Uh, po Mika eye. Oh, it's a Hawaiian gecko. I thought it was a turtle, but look how cute, cute its little face is. Stocking, stocking stuffer. And for Callie, I also picked up there the Moana collection. These are little sterling silver hibiscus earrings. I just thought these were so stinking cute. Again, oh, hello, we're focusing. Stocking. So I have so many bags. I literally am tempted to buy another piece of luggage here from Aulani because they have such cute luggage for all of the things. And I think technically Callie still has a bag that we could bring home. So we'll see. So because my sound bath experience is going in the 40 before 40 video, this is gonna be my aloha to you and mahalo for watching. I feel like I probably should have broken this video up into parts and segments because it is so long. But I also want you, if you're thinking about coming here or you love being here or you wanna know what it's like to be here, to get that full vibe. So if you've stayed until the end, will you put a palm tree in the comments below? I might do a giveaway with some things that I have that are like protein health based and it will go to one of you who puts a palm tree in the comments, okay? I love you. I love you. Thank you, mahalo for being here. I know this was a long one. It's been so fun to film all these pieces and I know when I go to edit, I'll probably cry the whole time because I just love this space and I hope that comes across. If you have questions about Aulani or any of the activities that we did, please leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in our next video, which is bound to be magical because it'll be California Disneyland based. Goodbye, my friends. Aloha.